Good morning everyone! It's not even morning anymore, it's almost 11. Today, today is really chilly, the wind is really cold. But here we are outside. <laughs> hello, say hello. Hello! <laughs> she smiles. Um, they took actually a nap. Well, a power nap. Right after breakfast, they felt really tired. Maybe they were not ready to wake up this morning, but we wake them up anyways. So they can see the boys before they go to school. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it's really cold. And uh, thankful for the sunshine. Sunshine feels good. But without it, it's really cold. The wind is chilly. Well, what? It's November what? I don't even know what the date is today. Yeah, but it's November, that's for sure. I, I know it's a Wednesday. Um, that's right. You want to say something? You want to say something? You want to smile for everybody? Good job. He's a happy boy. He's a really happy boy. Oh, we're getting rid of the fields for um, planting the green, the, the leafy greens, the broccoli and lettuce and all sorts of different kind of lettuces. Romaine lettuce they call it, I don't know. Um, the longer one, the, the purple edges and cabbages. So it's the season of the um, the greens in the winter. And some fields are still with weeds, probably untouched because the owners are not around or in nursing homes or deceased already, who knows, or just abandoned fields. Their weeds are taller than me and I'm like, what? one meter almost 70 centimeter used to be 171 you guys did you know that uh, five feet 5.6 feet inches i don't know in feet and inches but um since i had five kids guess what happened you shrink you shrink yes it's true i didn't want to believe it but it's true and on top of that it, it goes fast and after the twins I am officially from 171, I'm 168, so I have shrunk, but that's okay, they're happy, they're happy babies, happy kids, so that's that, when you're a mother, that's what happens to you. Speaking of mothers, I share that with my sister too, but um, it's something, I read a lot of mom's blogs and um, what they suggest in their practice and their experience as moms and I read about, about um, their challenges and their successes so one recently I read probably was yesterday um, one mom was listing 10 things that you should do as a mom to be a good mom and I don't remember all of them but they were um, that I remember and I agree with some of some of the things she listed was just like I don't know to me it's just natural thing that you do at home but uh, you know it's good to be pointed out so you can recognize it and um, keep doing it it's a good thing um, but um, one thing that I realized that I'm not doing very well and should work on more is um, especially when you have a girl now that I have a girl um, and I'm excited about it. Um, <clears throat> it she, she pretty much said that, you know, um, the world around you beats you up as much as they it, it can. And life takes you off and on and pushes into cliffs, sinks in the deep. So what do you do is... You know, as most moms, probably you do too sometimes, but you get hard on yourself and you keep thinking, what can I do more? And I'm not doing this right. And I'm so bad, I'm a horrible mother and things like that. Yeah, those things don't help. No, they don't. Um, beating yourself even extra more the, together with the, what the world and the life around you gives you i mean i'm not saying that you have to have hard time all the time and challenges all the time you have good days and you have wonderful years and successful months and weeks but then you have the downs too right and you just something happens something snaps at home and one of the kids starts going straight from what you expected them to do or 
I don't know, just you see that the cha the change in their character, you see um, things that they do that you don't like or you see things that you say and do that you don't like and you feel sorry afterwards you did so and then you start beating yourself it's like oh it's all my fault i didn't i failed in this and i failed in that yeah no don't do that don't do that please don't do that and i shouldn't do it either because um yeah you can take only so much because you're still a human being and you're trying your yeah. best as a mom so you shouldn't be doing that huh? you, on the contrary you should be complimenting yourself for your achievements and for your my neighbor is passing by. Hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Baby. Yes, baby. Baby boy. He is very big oh. and happy. And she. One more. One more. Yes, there are two. Yes, there are two. <laughs> yes. They are 10 months old. 10 months. Jukagetsu. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> ちょっとちっちゃい、スモール、スモールベイビー。うん。ちょっとちっちゃい、スモール、スモールベイビー。うん。恥ずかしいね。ヘローセイヘローヘローヘローカネヤヘローこちらボーイボーイガールガールイエ
something that she did was planting hatred towards my dad and um, that was not good because ultimately what it did is like I I realized it's not true because I got to know him too and you know he's a great guy I think he's a great guy um, they're just very different people so um, yeah my, my, my boys adore their grandpa but when we go to visit it has to be in two different cities and two different houses and it's just really hard and my my kids start to understand that you know sometimes people separate because um not because necessarily they hate each other well in my, in my case my mom really hated my dad but um you know sometimes they just uh, have different goals and different ideas of family and they have different um values if you say, if you will they have everything different and I don't really know what really put them up together. <laughs> what was the common denominator there, but I don't know. So I'm grateful I have a sister out of that relationship and we're good friends, if not best friends. Um, so yeah, um, looking up, daughters look up to their moms. And with that said, I think we should be very careful how we act around them you know like if you're that kind of person lady that likes makeup and jewelry and just likes to look perfect all every day and spends time with hair and stuff be 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 that person that's fine i'm not that kind of person i'm more like sporty kind of type i don't really wear makeup unless i have to go to work or on Sunday sometimes before we go to church but not always so I look very different with the makeup and without it <laughs> it's not because I put a lot of just mm, I'm very pale kind of person not pale but like yeah when there's no lines around it I look different and when there are lines around there it looks different um, okay I have to stop because there's a car passing and that's the row here okay uh, when it's a narrow road like like this this is like really narrow road so um i go at sidewalk no this is actually nice the one that it goes towards our house is narrower so the rule is when when you see some vehicle coming you have to actually stop so they can pass faster instead of like being so nervous about you around you this is somebody's having pe outside yeah probably it's probably there's a good chance one of my kids is out there so i'm just gonna pass by quickly um yeah so so when girls look at you how what you say how you think like, you know they know your reactions they know how you carry yourself and they um start copying that and so if you want to um raise a strong daughter confident strong and who knows what she wants and you know that's not like overnight thing you just build it up being spending time with her everyday talk like small talk like even when you get you have to be careful how you um manage your anger um and how you manage your reactions and like for example if i see a roach like this morning in Japan, like in Hawaii, they're this big and they um, they fly too. So you, you spray and it starts flying and it's just a mess. So I start screaming all over the house and <laughs> I noticed as the years by, pass, pass by that my kids started doing the same thing. And I was like, wait, I, should, I shouldn't do that, but I still do it. But, but then it changed, like my oldest, he's brave. He grabs the kitchen paper, maybe two layers of it. And then he smashes it and w when it's already sprayed and dead of course and he puts it in a bag and we seal the bag and put it in the trash so that, that's how i hate him i just hate him when i see them i scream like maniac around the house and <laughs> i think my second and my third boy yeah I like that too they are not as brave as my first but my first he likes bugs he um he had a uh, one of those beetles that have horns or pinterest or yeah he had one of them and he called him john and when john died we all were sad like when you give a name to your little pet it doesn't matter how big or small when you give them a name it, it becomes attached to your heart and from there on the the loss is painful <laughs> i would say 
but yeah so yeah i i have noticed that and i also read an article earlier b before um that um by the age of 13 or 14 your kids already pretty much know your reaction on anything any situation because they've seen it over and over and over again at home and that would probably be true if you raise your kids until elementary school age or kindergarten age but here they go to school at the age of two so i was thinking maybe it's a bit different because they would see the reactions of their teachers they teach them here how to behave how to be calm how to not react on things like mommy does and um so maybe they have more influence from teachers in school than parents but you know of course they they know they know how mommy would react and sometimes they'll be like well, I didn't tell you, mommy, because I know you will, you will be angry. And I'm like, well, if I, if you know I will be angry, then that's something you shouldn't be doing, or, or like, or like they're like they say it anyways, and now of course I'm angry, and <laughs> or like I try not to be. It depends on the situation, but most of the time they know. If they tell me whatever they were supposed to tell me, and they didn't tell me. It was probably something wrong and so they they are ready for the whatever is coming <laughs> upon their heads as a result of their actions so one thing i we teach them at home is when you when you make a choice you make your own choice but then you don't choose the consequences of it you know what i mean it's you you break the rule um consciously like you would fully recognizing that you did and you chose to do that anyways then you get the consequence out of it you just get you get a punishment you, you get suspended from games or no play dates with a friend this week or you know things like that it's just i think i think it's important to to be strict and hard sometimes even though it hurts you and you don't want to see that happening to them they have to know the good and the bad so they can be prepared for life afterwards and but then you, you don't be hard on yourself you you do what you gotta do too there is this phrase i'm reading a lot recently about people saying i'm enough and i always thought about what is that i'm enough in what is enough i i just don't understand the word enough in the concept of I am enough like this is enough or somebody's pouring you um, a soda in your cup and you say oh that's enough thank you or like uh, you're eating at somebody's house and they offer you another piece of pie or cake and you're like oh that's enough that's enough thank you I, I had enough I understand that or like when you're angry and um, when I blast in my voice and I say that's enough or like i've had enough i understand that but that i don't understand i am enough i'm enough of what i'm enough of taking care of my kids or i'm enough of doing my chores which i'm not because i i can never catch up with all the laundry seriously guys seven people and laundry don't even get me started that's probably another another video that is probably long what two hours and socks and I mean school uniforms and all that yeah but um <laughs> I'm enough probably is to make you feel better about yourself I don't know what is that I'm enough if somebody please can enlighten me I would appreciate that um but I see it in uh um those commercial those um how do you call it? Like in, on Facebook, you see videos of, uh, yeah, commercials, right? Um, of those um, big life journal or like there's another similar one where kids can write in the, the little booklet and like a journal and um, stay focused on their ideas and their goals. And, the, you know, it's a good thing. And there is one page that I printed out because it was a free printable and I really liked it. It was a five day challenge of um, goodness, how to be good and nice. To, you just choose somebody that is challenging at, at school and um, you do for five days things about to that person and hopefully it changes your view of that person. We did that. Um, I, I was probably not really good with um, evaluating afterwards what happens, but, but there was this one of the pages of that challenge was uh, 
a drawing that you could um, um, color. And so my youngest, because he is the youngest, you know, the others they don't bother them with coloring stuff. <laughs> They're already big. But um, my youngest, he sat down with the pencils and he colored it and he put it in the fridge. And it was a, it, it, it has a dolphin or a whale, I don't know. And inside of that dolphin, hi, Kai Kai. Um, there is um, there are words, and it says, "I'm um, I celebrate my wins," or what? What else did it say? I, I always stare at it when I eat dinner. <laughs> I am enough. Um, I I something. It was a focus on the self. So. And he, he he really, really well and skillfully colored it. And then I read it for him and he was like, okay, I'll remember that I'm enough. <laughs> I'm like, out of all the other three, four sentences, why did you pick that one? I'm enough. So how are you enough? Meaning, I, I how I would take it is, I am enough. So please, please don't self-hurt um, on purpose don't hurt yourself because it doesn't do anything good um and yeah i'll just ponder more about i'm enough and i think my next video might be about diapers because i'm taking this challenge of my um uh, father-in-law who was telling me i think was it two weeks ago last week i don't remember he was uh, telling me that um Japanese diapers are the best. They're really efficient and great. So <clears throat> I did some research and I use pampers at home. Um, but yeah, it will be next time will be I'll be more prepared about diapers. See ya, bye.